Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at IOBit's start menu for Windows 8 and Windows 10. This program goes back to Windows 8 when everybody was mad about the start menu and has been updated to work with Windows 10 as well. It's very simple to install. I have saved it to my desktop. Double click it. Uh, we have it marked as ad supported, but you can safely go through all of this and not worry at this point. The only reason we have it marked as ad supported is there's a couple of start menu items added uh, shortcuts to their other products, which you can easily remove. So there's no, not the usual concern about pups or anything like that. Once you finish up, you very simply can do, this just wants to take you to their page, by the way, I'll get that out of the way. Uh, to promote the full the uh, the uh, professional version etc so now you can go with either the flat style or the Windows 10 style obviously since you have the program you probably want the flat style you click OK and now at this point you could actually be done and as you can see these are the things I mentioned but you can easily unpin them and call it a day if you like now as you can see we have a nice flat looking simple quick loading start menu that's a little more similar to what you would have expected in Windows 7. So you can walk away however I'm pretty sure I can show you don't want to stop at this point because if you go under all programs and start the program up you will see that you have a ton of options. You can go to the classic Windows style so instead of the flat look you just saw you have that much uh, a little more color to it you can go back to the Windows 10 style we'll stick with this for the time being and you can change the transparency as you can see and again there's a whole ton of things in here most of them are uh, pretty well explained themselves you can change your icon if <laughs> oh, that's hilarious uh, I'm easily humored but there you go um, you can change any icon you want so that she looks the way you want it to you can head in under the general and determine how many programs to display on there highlight the new program some of the things that may annoy you that you didn't know or never bothered thinking geez maybe I can fix this because it's driving me nuts and you can go into the menu so let's say uh, games let's say I don't want games you can show it as a menu or you can just remove it click apply so now games is gone and just as simple as returning it and games is back you can then go into the user interface change your account picture a couple little small things here nothing too much and over here is a couple of more advanced settings which is nice because you can one of my favorites is pressing the Windows key so most of the time you're gonna come over here and to start you're going to click on it but if you wanted to restart retain your Windows 10 start menu without having to go back and forth and bounce around. Now with this setting here, I just click the Windows key and when I do, there is your classic Windows 10 start menu. So that's another option. You can also do it with the left click. So these are kind of some neat little ways to just tweak it a little bit more. It's not too complicated. A lot of people aren't even aware that this works in Windows 10 because it's called Start Menu 8, but it does work in Windows 10. And as you can see, it works very well. It's very, very quick. As a matter of fact, I would argue that it's probably a lot faster than the Windows Classic menu that's in it now. So there you go. The download is completely free. I'll try and drop a link down below. Take a second, click subscribe. We'd appreciate that. We could always use more subscribers. No, I don't want to get a day job. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.